In a significant financial boost for Canadian seniors, the Canada Revenue Agency CRA has announced new payouts totaling $2,800 in direct deposits. This initiative aims to provide much-needed economic relief to seniors across the country, ensuring they have additional support during these challenging times. The new payments are part of the government's ongoing efforts to enhance the financial well-being of older Canadians, particularly as they navigate the rising costs of living and health care. The announcement has been met with widespread approval from advocacy groups and citizens alike, who recognize the positive impact these funds will have on the daily lives of seniors. Many seniors struggle with fixed incomes, and this additional financial assistance can help cover essential expenses such as groceries, medications, and utilities. Eligible seniors can expect to see the $2,800 deposited directly into their bank accounts, streamlining the process and providing immediate access to the funds. This move is part of a broader strategy by the CRA and the federal government to ensure that financial support reaches those who need it most efficiently and effectively. Now let's break this down a bit further. The $2,800 payout is a non-taxable, lump sum payment that will be directly deposited into the bank accounts of all eligible Canadian seniors. This means that you'll receive the full amount without any deductions or taxes taken out. So, what can you do with this extra cash? Well, the possibilities are endless. You could use it to cover essential expenses like rent, utilities, or medical bills. Or, if you're feeling a little adventurous, you could treat yourself to a well-deserved vacation or indulge in a hobby you've always wanted to pursue. Now, you might be wondering, why is the government providing this one-time payout to Canadian seniors well? There are a few key factors driving this decision. First and foremost, it's important to recognize the immense sacrifices and contributions made by our senior citizens throughout their lives. From building our communities and fostering economic growth, to defending our nation and passing on invaluable knowledge and wisdom to younger generations, the role of seniors in shaping our great country cannot be overstated. However, despite these invaluable contributions, many seniors across Canada face significant financial challenges in their retirement years. Rising costs of living, including housing, healthcare, and essential goods and services, have placed a considerable strain on fixed incomes. For some seniors, making ends meet can be a constant struggle, forcing them to make difficult choices between paying bills or affording basic necessities. The government understands that these financial hardships can severely impact the quality of life for our senior citizens, who deserve to live out their golden years with dignity, comfort, and peace of mind. By providing this $2,800 payout, the government aims to alleviate some of these financial pressures and offer much-needed relief to those who may be struggling. Moreover, this one-time payment is a tangible way for the government to express its gratitude and appreciation for the sacrifices and hard work of Canadian seniors. It's a recognition of their immeasurable contributions to our society and a way to ensure that they are not left behind or forgotten. Additionally, the government recognizes the economic impact of providing financial support to seniors. By putting extra money directly into the hands of seniors, it can stimulate consumer spending and provide a boost to local economies across the country. Seniors are likely to use this payout to cover essential expenses, purchase goods and services, or even treat themselves to leisure activities, all of which contribute to the overall economic well-being of their communities. Furthermore, this payout aligns with the government's broader commitment to promoting social equity and reducing income inequality across the country. By providing targeted financial assistance to a vulnerable segment of the population, the government is taking steps to ensure that no Canadian is left behind, regardless of their age or financial circumstances. Now that we've explored the rationale behind this payout, let's dive into the specifics of who is eligible and how the payment process will work. It's important to note that this payout is not based on your income level or assets. Whether you're a high-income senior or living on a fixed income, as long as you meet the eligibility criteria, you'll receive the full $2,800 payment. If you're already receiving benefits like the Old Age Security OS Pension or the Guaranteed Income Supplement GIS, you don't need to take any additional steps. The CRA will automatically process your payment and deposit the $2,800 directly into the same bank account where you receive your OAs or GIS benefits. However, if you're not currently receiving these benefits, you'll need to file your 2023 tax return by the extended deadline of June 30, 2024. The CRA will use the information from your tax return to verify your eligibility and process your payment. Once your eligibility has been confirmed, the CRA will initiate the direct deposit process. The payments will begin rolling out on Wednesday, May 29, 2024, 
and will continue over the following weeks until all eligible seniors have received their $2,800. It's important to note that if you don't have direct deposit set up with the CRA, you'll receive a check in the mail instead. However, the CRA strongly recommends signing up for direct deposit to ensure a faster and more secure delivery of your payment. If you haven't received your payment by the end of June 2024, the CRA advises you to contact them directly to inquire about your status and resolve any potential issues. To ensure a smooth payment process, the CRA has set up a dedicated hotline and online portal specifically for this one-time payout. Seniors can call the hotline or visit the portal to check their eligibility status, update their banking information, or address any concerns they may have. While this $2,801 time payout is certainly a welcomed and much-needed financial boost for Canadian seniors, it's important to consider the long-term impact and broader initiatives the government has in place to support our aging population. First and foremost, this payout should not be seen as a one-off solution to the financial challenges faced by seniors. Rather, it's part of a larger, ongoing commitment by the government to improve the lives and well-being of our senior citizens. Over the past few years, we've seen several initiatives aimed at enhancing retirement income security and providing additional support for seniors. These include Increasing the old age security OS pension The government has implemented gradual increases to the OS pension, providing a higher monthly income for eligible seniors. Enhancing the Guaranteed Income Supplement GIS The GIS, which provides additional income support for low-income seniors, has also seen increases to help those most in need. Improving access to home care and long-term care Recognizing the importance of allowing seniors to age in place, the government has invested in expanding home care services and improving the quality of long-term care facilities. Introducing new tax credits and deductions Various tax credits and deductions have been introduced or enhanced, such as the Disability Tax Credit, Medical Expense Tax Credit, and Age Credit, to help offset the costs associated with aging in healthcare. Promoting age-friendly communities initiatives have been launched to encourage the development of age-friendly communities with accessible housing, transportation, and amenities tailored to the needs of seniors. Moving forward, the government has signaled its intention to continue exploring ways to enhance the retirement income system and provide a stronger safety net for seniors. This may include further adjustments to pension plans, expanding tax advantage savings vehicles, and addressing the unique challenges faced by seniors in different regions or demographics. Additionally, there is a growing focus on promoting financial literacy and retirement planning among younger generations. By encouraging Canadians to start saving and investing early, the government aims to ensure a more secure financial future for future retirees, reducing the reliance on government programs and benefits. However, it's crucial to recognize that supporting our aging population is a shared responsibility that requires collaboration among all levels of government, private sector organizations, and individual Canadians. The government alone cannot bear the full burden of ensuring a comfortable retirement for all seniors. Employers will need to step up and provide robust workplace pension plans and retirement savings options for their employees. Financial institutions and advisors must play a role in educating Canadians about retirement planning and offering suitable investment products. Ultimately, it's up to each individual to take an active role in planning for their retirement, setting aside savings, and making informed decisions about their financial future. By working together and approaching this challenge from multiple angles, we can build a more sustainable and equitable system that supports our senior citizens and ensures they can enjoy their golden years with dignity, comfort, and peace of mind.